Hi there. Today we're diving straight into what happens when you stop paying for your cloud storage. I'll be covering popular services such as Google Drive and iCloud, plus some of the best cloud storage services like Sync.com and pCloud. Let's get straight into it, shall we? I'll start with iCloud. If you stop paying for your iCloud storage, you'll get a pop-up on your phone nudging you to pay. If you ignore it, you'll have 30 days to retrieve your data from the cloud before it's erased permanently. If you don't renew your plan or download your data within that 30-day grace period, everything stored in your iCloud will be gone for good. Losing your most important data is far from ideal, so you want to get on top of that as quickly as possible. A similar thing happens with Sync.com, pCloud, and iStrive, three of our top cloud storage providers on cloudwords.net. After the grace period, which officially varies between 14 and 30 days, you're moved to a free plan and all access data is removed. Microsoft's OneDrive one-ups Apple in this area, though. It also moves users to a free plan, but won't delete the account or any data for a full year. Now, let's move on to Dropbox and Google Drive. These two powerhouses really have your back when it comes to offering you storage space, even when you stop paying. If you stop paying for your Google Drive storage, your storage limits will reset to the free levels. You can't sync or upload new files, edit or copy effective files. The good news is your existing files stored in Google Drive are not affected. That said, leaving your files as they are for a long time is, in my opinion, not a good idea. So if you're over your free storage limit for two years, then Google might delete your content. Let me say that again. Google might delete your content. The keyword here is might. They'll try reaching out by email before any drastic moves, so make sure to check that email account that is connected to your storage account because some of us do change email accounts and then you might miss the email and your data could be gone for good. As for Dropbox, it's perhaps the real hero here. The service will never delete your files even after you stop paying. Keep in mind, though, that you won't be able to sync your files across your device, so you'll lose a lot of the capabilities that you'll have with a paid account. You'll only be able to access them through the Dropbox websites, but at least you don't need to worry about them going anywhere if you don't pay up. Now, it's not just about losing data. Premium perks like Advanced sharing features or client-side encryption often get downgraded too. This can be especially problematic if you're very big on privacy. Unless you're a Dropbox or Google Drive user, you probably want to stay on top of your cloud storage subscriptions. If you do need to stop paying, use the grace periods to download your data so that you can back it up somewhere else, like an external hard drive or maybe a network attack storage device that you, that you still have at home. One way to save money on cloud storage, and granted it might be a little bit cumbersome for some people, is to make the most of all the free plans available. We've recently ranked the best free cloud storage plans, and by adding a few of these together, you can easily replace your paid subscription. You can check out the video by clicking on the link here above. And if you're looking for the best cloud storage provider, I leave a link down in the description so you can check out my personal favorites and the favorites of the CloudWords team. There's also a video for it so you can check out whether you want to read the article or watch the, the video. And folks, that's it for now. Let me know what you think of the video down below in the comments. And if you've had uh, to use any of these storage grace periods and what your experience is with them, also I'd love to hear your thoughts and as always, Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.